So we will be focusing on a practical with Microsoft Threat Modeling. You can download Microsoft Threat Modeling tool from Microsoft website easily. And there are a few things that we need to look at in this tool. You can create a model. Uh, you can model your system by drawing a diagram. And you can open a model. If you have a existing model which you have already designed, you can open it and you can do amendments. And you can create a template if you want. You can define stencils and your template. Or also you can open a template if you have. And there is also a starting guide if you have uh, concerns to learn. You can go for getting started guide and you can learn it. Uh, you can learn about selecting templates and creating data flows and how to analyze and you can determine mitigations. And when you select a model, you can find several models in the tool. You will see that Azure Threat Model template is there and SDL TM knowledge base is also there and medical device model is also there. So Azure is for uh, the cloud related developments and what we focus is actually on SDL team knowledge base. Medical devices model is for specific area uh, which we are not going to discuss here. So our focus is to look at SDL TM knowledge base. You select that template and then go for creating a model. Then you will be able to see what you have here this is the tool which we are focusing on and in this tool we have a canvas this is the canvas which you have and you have stencils if you go through the existing stencils you have generic processes and general generic external interactors, generic data stores, generic data flows, uh, trust line boundaries. Uh, these are some of the stances you will be having. And also you can add any free text as an annotation to the uh, diagram. So let's try to design a very simple diagram and uh, to do an analysis and then also a report to get a report and also to give few mitigation steps. If you go through uh, some of the generic processes, you will be able to find operating system processes, threads, kernel threads, native applications and many more. So I will be focusing on uh, a like a web application right so I'm focusing on a web application and again uh, I'm planning to connect this web application to another web service where I might have this web service hosted in a different host so my, my web application will be communicating to a web service through internet so I'll be focusing on applying a data flow to that I'll be having a TTP connectivity. So what I can do is I can connect this web service to my web application in this way. This is the simplest design that I have. And then once finished with designing, then I can go for adding a boundary where I can think of so I'll be focusing on intrade boundary assuming that these two like web service and web application might connect through internet and this is a simple diagram where you can focus on you can you still can have much more processes you still can have much more flows if you have things to connect you will be able to find several other diagrams that I've designed and you can open them and learn a bit.
if you look at what we have in this tool you have a view mode if you click out in this view currently we are in designing view then you can select analysis view where you will be able to find out number of threads that are in this design click on the analysis view that will give you set of issues set of threads if we try to look at them we will be able to identify it so these are the auto generated <coughs> report or records by the tool right if you go through them you will be able to find several issues and descriptions right you can pick any of them and try to provide mitigation steps and you can read it you can read about it if you look at the first one i have a title called web service process memory tampered and this is under category of tampering there is explanation given if web service is given access to memory such as shared memory or pointers or given the ability to control what web application executes then web service can tamper with web application consider if the function would work with less access to memory such as passing data rather than pointers copy in data provided and then validate it so they have given a little bit of a description where you can read it and try to understand it there is a space for your justification if you look at it then if you go further you can give a priority to that you can make it the highest priority medium or low right? that's how you can go through them and then uh, understand what it is that we have right so uh, once you have a design diagram you can find plenty of issues like what we found right so there are different different issues that you can look at uh, that are related to the interaction of this http connection but the priority is higher so you you can't ignore this issue you should find a fix for that so how we are going to fix this is actually once you have this one you can go for a report and you can create a full report of that create a full report and then go for creating this report so uh, you can do that then here we have our report and report will explain details further we have the diagram which we tried out and also we have summaries explanations uh, different different vulnerabilities and their priorities right we have uh, web service process memory tampered issue under tampering category we have a risk of cross site scripting that is again under tampering category we have elevation using impersoning that is again under elevation of privilege uh, we have spoofing right there are different issues but if you look at it carefully under justification no mitigation provided so what you can do is you can give a mitigation to that and then you can think of free generating the model with sort of agreement in your team after going through the report you can give justification over here right you can write your justification let's say for some reason if you ignore this issue with the internal discussion you think that this issue shouldn't be sorted for some reason still you have to give the justification like this issue should not be sort right you can give the justification and then make sure to change the status of the issue 
right that is very important if you feel like you don't have enough knowledge to fix this particular issue then you can mark it like need investigation if this is not applicable you can uh, you can apply like not applicable if this has mitigated with the reasonable justification you can put it like mitigated for this case i'll make it mitigated then what you can do is you can go for a analysis and then get the report and you can see uh, one out of the identified issues actually will be reduced right make sure to save the diagram you will need them in the process of mitigating issues right what you can do is like you can go to designing view and then you can go to a free analysis right and then you can get read and write the report i have another report for that then you can actually uh, see in this report you have implemented mitigation in the threat model summary you have one issue been mitigated by your team but make sure to have capable enough people who can give you a uh, relevant mitigation to the identified issue here in this case i have just given this issue should not be sorted right for some other cases what you can do after uh, designing this if you find this http connectivity is not the way to connect it right so one of the better ways to connect this web service and this web application is not to have this kind of simple connection like a typical http then you can try out with a secure channel where you have a certificate installed like a ca sign certificate like ssl and then make this connection https then we'll try out that that kind of solution for this diagram right so i am going to remove these http connectors then i am going to give a https connectivity in this way here we go right then we can go for analysis view right so make sure to save the diagram and then you can find out what other issues that we find in the same right definitely you will be able to find reduced number of issues then this is one of the solutions where you can give in connecting two different services rather than just going through a ttp right this is one of the solutions that you can find but still if you have other issues then you can go through the list and fix them then get the report and then redesign go through the first process again and then introduce mitigation steps and then you can go for redesigning but this process will not be uh helping you out with the implementation you should be having capable enough people to how to implement this in this case you should know how to install a certificate and how to have this https connectivity and then afterwards you your vulnerability assessing tool or va scanning tool will scan the system and then will give you another report where you can actually see whether the issues have been fixed or not 
another way to test the same is actually go through your source code and give a try with a static analysis tool and check whether uh, you find any other vulnerabilities in static code analysis those are the two methods of verifying mitigated issues in this threat modeling tool i think you will be able to understand uh, the session that we had if you have queries you can request them uh, through the lecturer so that i'll be able to give you answers and under the folder that i shared you will be able to find two sessions of uh, the introduction uh, to understand the concept behind threat modeling and then this practical and some other materials to be referred and also a lab sheet please go through the lab sheet and complete it and then you can uh, upload them to the lms uh, definitely you will be given few use cases to implement diagrams where you can do them and upload to the lms as well right uh, so this is the practical which we were planning to discuss and thank you very much